Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. Welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave. Well, guys, I truly hate to be the bearer of bad news again. Seems like that's all I'm doing anymore. But unfortunately, last night we lost SN3 now. It's beginning to seem like this is becoming a weekly or at least bi-weekly thing didn't seem to be a weld issue this time. At least that's what it looks like. This happened during the second cryo pressure test. Earlier in the day, Elon tweeted that they were having some leaks due to valve issues. It didn't explode. It really didn't even implode. It just crumpled. Take a look at it here. Now this can happen from a rapid loss of pressure but that doesn't look like the case. It's almost like one of the lower tanks didn't have enough pressure in it and allowed the weight from the upper tank to crush it. You see, it's kind of like this. If you take a full soda can and try to crush it, it's not going to happen. Not easily, anyway. Then you take an empty can and try to do the same thing. It crushes real easy. This is due to the internal pressure pushing outward. It's the same situation with Starship. If the tanks on Starship lose pressure or integrity for any reason, this is what happens. Because of this, I'm getting a little worried about this design. As this ship is supposed to get us into space and all the way to Mars and land with no problems. You may wonder why Starhopper was able to do the flight that it did with no problems. Well, the material that was used on Starhopper was thicker than what they're currently trying to get away with. Starhopper used 12.5 millimeter stainless steel, where the current version of Starship is only using 4 millimeter. That's one third of what Starhopper's thickness was. So, what happens now? Well, they're working on SN4, and hopefully, they'll have a little better luck with that. If they don't, in my opinion, it's probably back to the drawing board. They're probably going to have to increase the thickness of the stainless, and by doing that, that will change all of the specs. Lifting capacity and everything else. We'll just have to wait and see. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. I've got an update on the landing gear for Starship. Hopefully, they'll have a ship to use it on. We'll see you again tomorrow. Be safe and take care. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. I want to thank each and every one of you. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.